Hey YouTube, Carly here. Welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to check out all of the amazing Adidas deals, sneaker deals, sitting at the Adidas outlet over at Ascenda in Silang, Cavite, near Tagaytay. So if you're looking for Adidas sneakers at good prices, this video, this vlog is specifically made for you. Before we get started, please do give the video a thumbs up, share it on Facebook, subscribe to the channel because we do constant giveaways on this vlog. In fact, I just announced a 10,000 peso shopping spree giveaway with me. I'll actually meet up with the winner of the raffle. We'll go to Ashenda and we'll shop for sneakers together. You'll even be featured on the vlog. So the details and the mechanics to that particular giveaway can be found down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. Good luck. So now there are two stores that you can get Adidas sneakers from the Ashenda outlet in Silang Cavite slash Tagaytay. Uh, the first one is the Oregon Premium Outlet, which is a multi-brand outlet shop wherein you have Nike, you have Converse, you have Adidas, New Balance, and a bunch of other brands as well. Now, the selection there is pretty much straightforward. You have Ultra Boosts, you have Pure Boosts, you have a bunch of the usual GRs as well as POD Generation 1, and all of them are pretty much 30% off. So whatever the SRP is, 30% off, that's what you can usually find over at the Oregon Premium Outlet. However, if you are looking for Nike sneakers, you are in for a treat because if you haven't seen my video yet of the Nike version of this vlog, uh, there are a lot of sneakers at 60% off over at Oregon, including like the Vapor Maxes, a wide selection of Vapor Maxes. Uh, the React sneakers were at 20, 25% off. But anyway, uh, those are the, the Nike kicks. So for Adidas, just keep, keep that to your mind. It's mostly 30% off when it comes to the stuff there. Now, there is another Adidas outlet store which is just around the corner over at Ashenda and this has a very different selection. They actually have a lot of the rarer pieces, the collab pieces or the special releases and that I think is something that I want to tackle in today's episode. So let's get started. First up, and this is a treat, uh, we actually have the Adidas collaboration with Dragon Ball for the Vegeta sneakers. So this is the shoe that says over 9,000 at the back in blue and in yellow. I think it's called the Ultratech shoe. Now this one, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, sells for over eight thousand or nine thousand pesos. Uh, the sale price is at around five thousand pesos or a hundred dollars. So if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, if you are a fan of Vegeta, there are still a few small sizes sitting on shelf over at the Adidas outlet at Ashenda. Apart from the Adidas collaboration, we also have a bunch of Pharrell Williams sneakers, but mostly the tennis use, none of the NMDs. And when it comes to tennis is used we have the original version in all blue and in all red usually sells for 5,000 that was the original SRP it is now down to just 3,500 pesos mostly big sizes left again an all blue version as well as an all red version however the tennis U version 2 which is the newest version of the Pharrell Williams tennis sneaker is now also available there from the solar pack both the yellow and the red variant as well I actually did a review of this one I'll try to find the link uh, if I remember to get the link and put it down below uh, and this one you have it the usual price was 8,000 they are selling it now for just 5,000 pesos somewhere around 100 US dollars so if you are a fan you can pick them up now at the Ashenda outlet there are sneakers worth noting we did find the I forgot what it's called wherein they meshed like two sneakers together so this one is the marathon tech runner with the 5923 meshed together in all white very clean very nice looking shoe selling for 4,900 pesos the next sneaker is something that I almost brought home if only they had it in half a size bigger this is the zx 930 x eqt so the original price was 9300 it was selling for just 6510 pesos i put it on feet it was super comfortable the boost was amazing the upper was comfortable it didn't like you know graze my skin as much as the previous model did really a fantastic shoe uh, speaking of clean sneakers, I also saw an all-white night jogger, if the night jogger is your thing. Uh, the discount though isn't massive. It was just uh, 5,230 pesos, a little over $100, and you can probably get that lower if you go to the other Adidas outlet over at Riverbanks or in Paseo. Now, if you like classic sneakers from Adidas, you're in for a treat because you will find them in abundance here at this particular outlet store. We saw a ton of NMDs in different colorways. 
Uh, this is the NMD R1 STL T Prime Knit, uh, and they were selling for 5,100 pesos. The colorways that I found, there was one in red, there was one in purple, and there was one in green. They also had the City Sock version in black and in red with black boost. So if that's your thing, you can also find that sitting over at the shelves at the Adidas outlet at Ashenda. Uh, for the more classic silhouettes, even classicer than the NMD, we have the Campos. So this is your traditional leather sneaker uh, with the upper made out of suede. Usually sells for 5,500 pesos. Uh, selling now for just 3,300. Uh, and they did come in a lot of colors. So if you are a fan of the Campos, it's one of the best places to pick one up. Uh, we saw colors in black. We saw ones in white. There was in green, blue, and a variety of other colors for the Campos. They also had the Gazelles. So the Gazelles usually sell for 4,800, uh, but they were knocked down to 3,500 here at the outlet. And they also came in a variety of colors to pick from, not just your usual ones. Blue, white, red, a bunch of colors to pick from. If you're a fan of a Gazelle, another great place to buy them from. We also saw the more updated Samba. So this is the Samba sneaker, but it had a boost midsole. So if you peek underneath the outsole, there's actually a pop of boost that you can see from the edges and this one usually sells for 6,500 uh, but they are now selling it to, for just 4,550 pesos. So those were the classics but if you go to the staples and when I say staples these are your usual suspects in outlet shops. Uh, let's start of course with the boost you wear. <laughs> if you missed my vlog on the Riverbanks where I saw the Riverbanks outlet where I talked about a lot of boost you wears at 70% off watch that i'll really remember to put the link down below but anyway this one the boost you wear they have a variety of models variety of colors but unfortunately the prices weren't as good nor were they close to what you could get over at riverbanks because they were just at 30 percent off so they were still kind of high priced considering you can get them for at least 50 and at most 70 percent off over at riverbanks so if you are a fan of the boost you wear silhouette unfortunately guys the ashenda outlet is not for you just head on over back to Rivermax because you should be able to find them there at better prices. The same goes for the ultimate outlet sneaker from Adidas, the Pure Boost. Uh, most of the Pure Boosts here are selling for anywhere from 4,500 to 5,000 pesos. And as we've seen in previous outlet visits, you should be able to find them for much less uh, if you time your visit properly. In fact, we saw them selling for around 2,000 to 3,000 a few just a few months back. So if you just wait for the, the right sale and you have the time to get it at the right moment, that would be the best way to be able to cop a pair of pure boosts at good prices. Uh, of course, we also have the ultra boosts. And when it comes to the ultra boosts, uh, we saw one, one in particular caught my attention, which was the dark blue. This is the Ultra Boost 4.0 Parley Edition in dark blue with white boost. Uh, and I almost pulled the trigger on this one. The price, by the way, usually sells for 9,300, uh, knocked down to 6,230 because of the sale. And I was really intent of getting it, but unfortunately, the biggest size that they had was just 11 and a half. If it was size 12, it would have been an insta cup for me because I've been looking for that shoe uh, and I told myself that if ever I found a good deal for it, like an outlet visit and it was there, I would buy it. Now, apart from the Parley Ultra Boosts, they also had a ton of the usual, you know, Ultra Boost mids, uh, mostly anywhere from 30 to 50% off, but the mids have really had the history of sitting on shelves uh, and not selling as fast. So the colorways we saw, uh, the gray one, the red one, the multicolor one, the one that was inspired by Kiss, the one with the shiny badge on the side, the one in mint green and in blue and in gray. Uh, these aren't shoes that you haven't seen before and that I haven't talked about in the vlog yet. And you've seen them much, much, much cheaper than the prices that they are today over at the Ashenda Outlet Mall. So again, if you are looking for Ultra Boosts Mid, this shop might not be for you. You might be have a better chance just going over to the shop at Paseo, uh, the Adidas Outlet over there. So that pretty much is the selection over at the Ashenda Ashenda outlet uh, at uh, well the Adidas outlet at the Ashenda mall. If I were to pick like two sneakers that I would you know genuinely consider uh, of course the adidas dragon ball z vegeta if you're a dragon ball z fan being able to cop it at a great price is always a good thing uh the ultra boost parley 4.0 uh, dark blue 
and maybe like what I mentioned earlier, the ZX930 EQT6, the one that sells for 6510 Those would be the sneakers that really caught my attention. But to be honest, uh, just by taking a look at everything's there, uh, it's not one of the best visits that I've had. It's not one of the best releases, but that's okay because the, the people at the shop actually told me that they just finished their 50% sale, wherein most of the sneakers on, on those shelves were at 50% off. So I, I literally went at the worst possible time, just right after a sale ended. So, <laughs> so I guess the lesson of the story there is maybe we should just wait for more sales. <laughs> so if you guys uh, want to know more, make sure to follow Ashenda Designer Outlets over at Instagram. Instagram. So if they have new sales, you can find out and you can make your way over there uh, and buy some kicks. I personally think that it's worth the trip if you will visit all of the shops at the Shenda. You have Under Armour, you have Crocs, you have Vans, you have the Oregon Premium Outlet with all of the shops. There's a Fila Outlet, there's an Onitsuka Tiger Outlet, there's a Fila. I mean, there's so many outlet shops there and it's worth the trip if you will spend the day slowly taking your time, hopping from shop to shop and really just, you know, well, shopping at good prices. So don't just go here just for Adidas. Don't just go here for Nike. Explore, enjoy the day with your family. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog for today. Please do check out the rest of the series wherein we talked about some of the other outlet shops at Ashenda, including the Oregon Premium Outlet, the Crocs Outlet, as well as, of course, the Under Armour Outlet, where I am doing the 10,000 peso shopping spree giveaway, where one of you guys can go with me. I will treat you. We will shop. We will be on the vlog together, and it will be an awesome time. Who knows? I might feed you bulalo in Tagaytay after as well. And with that said, I hope you guys are all having an amazing week. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.